guys. Welcome to Black Angus Reviews. Got more breaking news in the uh, growing fissure of Comicsgate of uh, the Ripaverse, the uh, ever decreasing strands of intertwined threads. Another one has been severed today. Um, if you look over here, the Geek Getaway Tony. Great channel. Go subscribe. Go follow him if you haven't already. <clears throat> Has a great screen of Yellow Flash. I can't get that, at least through my account, because dude bought me years ago. Um, uh, it has Yellow Flash here saying, right on time, F this guy. Shocked. Uh, and it's a uh, screenshot of EBS streaming. Uh, reading a super chat. EBS having fun. Uh, and Tony says... Yellow Flash throwing a tantrum because Ethan Van Skyrim is putting him in his place. Couldn't agree more, Tony. Now, you might be wondering, what's going on here? So, uh, this started a couple days ago, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I was in this group. I didn't really participate in, uh, like I should, but there's a comic skate community. Apparently, Yellow Flash was, I guess, the creator or major admin. And uh, CBS posts... Yellow Flash destroys the comic skate community room where hundreds of indie creators promote their projects and got to know each other. Blocks people who just yesterday he called friends. By the way, guys, did you know he was an he has an artist drawing a comic book from coming soon? Uh, and here's a screen of Ellie Rodriguez asking what happened, and General Piggy's like, I don't know. Uh, Flash was the admin, and it's been deleted by the owners. Uh, and Flash. Puts this out. Another person walks away from an ego-driven asshole. Response. Everyone is attacking me. No, you're just an a-hole. And, uh, you know, after this block happens, DBS, Flash puts out this post. The comic book I'm com working on with Diller Draws is still coming. I promise it'll be worth the wait. Now enjoy this amazing cover sketch by the great Comics Kelsey. And look who chimes in at the top. Eric Juneteenth saying, let's get it. Uh, of course, cringe. <laughs> uh, and apparently he revealed uh, EVS's uh, cover rate or page rate right here. Flash says he wanted 4K plus sales of the book for the cover. I later found actually uh, that's like a win-win for you. you. Pay less up front if it's the price. You can deduce by math. Uh, EVS will make more, probably, with a stupid YouTuber comic. And uh, you're paying them way less up front. So, <clears throat> uh, interesting there. But low low move, dude. Even if you're at the top of the, uh, the anthill, like EVS, being able to ask those kind of prices. You don't reveal page rates or whatever, you know, if you want to know, you seek it out with the artist yourself and do not reveal that because, uh, you know, these guys are trying to make money with trying to have affordable pricing. This is a bad precedent. Even if EVS is kind of, you know, far and above everybody uh, in um, uh, requests, you know, for books, uh, He's got the name, so this isn't going to hurt him or anything, but it's just a low move, especially someone that you've played this straight online that you're all buddies. <clears throat> and now you're having this display, uh, I guess, a uh, like a, an E2 Bru Brute moment to show uh, Ripa your loyalties. <laughs> so gay. <laughs> Talking about gay ops. Uh, and then lastly, EVS has post. Yellow Flash has literally become the cancel piggy. He was hashtagging all his videos last month. Unbelievable. There's a lot of good things here. There's, of course, mostly Peaceful Iceberg. Lots of great clips. Follow them as well for CG YouTube drama. Uh, great clip with Riley here as the Flash. I uh, got Ethan Ralph getting in on this. I guess he's at after uh, Yellow Flash. I don't know if it's because of Dick Mashson or if there's something before that. Um, some interesting replies in here, though. Uh, yellow equals cowardice. Flash equals momentary, brief, ostentatious, fleeting coward. I think that's a great assessment. Uh, you know, I feel bad for you guys because, like, why did you ever, like, associate with these people? I mean, you kind of asked for us, I guess. 
uh, especially being more honest about the the Griftoverse of uh, the remnants, the whittled down remnants of the Phantom Menace uh, creatives that have maintained. Um, you know, the little shreds of truth you'll find in their commentary. It's just, it's all a pander. Uh, <laughs> they're so desperate for money. Just look at their coverage of Avatar. Look how they flip-flopped after it came out. And, oh yeah, there's really nothing. I can't really spin this as a woke nightmare. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's funny seeing some people that follow you. So it's like, this is a shock. And it's like, I just, I don't know. I don't get how you're fooled by the, the Griftoverse versus someone EBS and company. Trash Coat says, it's pretty believable. He was always a yes man to whoever he thought gave him the most credibility with his YouTube audience. He would make a video called Yellow Flash as well if he thought it would get him views. Uh, couldn't agree more. And uh, let's see. If, I feel there's a couple other good ones in here. I saw someone was blocked. Uh, yeah, most people are getting blocked by Yellow Flash. You're just asking beforehand, hey, why, what happened to the comics? Uh, what happened to the, the comics gate room? Um, <clears throat> very interesting stuff here. More fissures and bifurcating in this indie sphere. How do you feel about it? You think it's uh, pretty gay? The Yellow Flash, or is that awesome? Uh <laughs> <laughs> this is a concerted effort, you know. Um, I see this as like, oh man, this whole quality argument BS uh, shipping on time. You know, this is all deflection from a bad devaluing every day we speak company through a course. Might be an uptick with the art because blonde, white woman, titties. Um, but I mean, three books in, we're, we're seeing the, the downhill trajectory. Rip's got to insulate himself, pad himself, make himself the top dog, trying to dethrone EBS in every conceivable way. <clears throat> this is uh coordinated and all the grift diverse ass face. They're all mad because EBS called them zeros because they don't do anything. They just complain. They're not trying to make anything. They're not trying to promote anything positive. Uh, and that really uh, sucks because they, they can, you know, Nerd Drugs almost a million subs. He'll, uh, Yellow Flash is at 500K, close. And yet uh, they don't have the loyal fan base, I don't think, in a real quantifiable way like EVS with just his measly 150K. <clears throat> um, that really grinds their gears that he can, like, Essentially, give them the bird online and just keep on keeping on. Uh, those are my thoughts and a quick little synopsis here of the EVS uh, Yellow Flash Fallout on Twitter. Um, I suggest you go catch EVS's uh, stream. It's very insightful about some stuff. Uh, the guy puts up with a lot. You know, you can hate the guy. I think he's pompous. He calls himself a narcissist, but I think it's very interesting seeing like how often people are like fucking flip on him because <clears throat> he doesn't play ball with this like stupid YouTube politics. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Talk to you later.